Brad Clark here from Making Dojo. I wanted to do a quick video to showcase a tool that a lot of people miss um, and show a quick way to uh, use it to add an extra joint to your mesh. So um, if I want to go in and add an extra control around the waist of this character um, for you know breathing or whatever, um, I don't necessarily want to have to start over with the weighting. Um, and I don't want to have to try to fight with the rigging that exists here. So um, I'm going to go into the paint skin weights tool and we're going to look at the tool that is hidden in this little space here called move weights. Um, the move weights to selected influences lets you take one influence and uh, swap it with another one. So for example, I can go ahead and select this uh, spine and here we're working with the Spider-Man rig from Kyle Figgins. Uh, you can go to 3dfiggins.com and the rig to get it for free. It's a pretty awesome rig and uh, you know good good for animators. But I, I like the uh, the mesh. It's triangulated. People freak out about that. So um, I just wanted to demonstrate a couple things. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, create a joint, and this is going to be my uh, you know, new spine. I'm going to go ahead and add it as a new influence. So I'll go up to skin, edit influences, add influences, and say lock weights and make sure it comes in at zero. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to my paint skin weights tool. I'm going to look for new, new star, and here it's locked. So I'm going to unlock it to start with. Um, and we can see that it's got uh, no weighting assigned to it. Um, so I want to go find um, this, the belly spine uh, skinning. I'm not sure quite what it's called, so let me... Uh, he actually does have some breathing controls in here, so that's interesting. Um, let's see, leg, spine. Okay, so this is fine. Um, I basically want to take the hip spine star spine. There we go. Uh, spine waist. I'm going to right click and select verts. And so now um, I've got the vertexes that were weighted to this bone selected. And I have my new spine joint, so I'm going to select the vertices. I'm going to grab the waist. I'm going to uh, control click new spine. So now it's active. And now I'm going to hit the move weights tool. It's going to calculate for a second. And now if I grab the waist, you can see that there are uh, no influences on the waist anymore. And it's on this new joint. So now I have this uh, basically joint that has the exact same weighting as it had before, um, except it's allowing me to do whatever I want. So if you're an animator and you're trying to add an extra control to something to just be able to, you know, do some extra breathing, or you want to create a, you know, a little extra bend um, system, then the move weights tool is going to be your friend. If you're a rigging TD and you're trying to get these um, you know, twist joints set up where you're, you have lots of rows of information. Um, you can skin um, the shoulder and the upper arm to two joints, All right? We skin here and we skin down here. And then as you add influences in, you can just copy the weighting to each of these joints from a selection. So the move weights tool works really well for this and it allows you to add um, extra bones to your mesh for controls. I hope this helps you out and uh, share it with your friends and go check out the Spider-Man rig from 3dfiggins.com slash store, the amazing Spider-Man free rig. See you later.